Hey everyone, I got a pretty intense article. So let's just get right to the, well, first of all, the headline is rejected by UK Europeans to seek empire and then check it out. This is the article. Let's scroll down a little bit here. It says, I'm just going to read this one small section. It says it even envisions a global government. And then they say that they're going to invest in regional orders and in cooperation among and within regions. Now, what are those regions? Well, if you've been watching my 10 Toes of Daniel videos, you know what the regions are. The planet's supposed to be split up into 10 separate regions. Well, that has already been done on paper. Uh, so you need to, if you haven't seen those videos, you need to check them out. And what are their in-depth plans? Well, you might want to take a look at, uh, if you go to my uh, website here and you go down to uh, the prophecy section, go to prophecy soon fulfilled and go to the uh, new world order section, you might want to check out this page here. Or check out Pastor Craig's video on the New World Order. He's got it on YouTube. I'll put the link below. So you need to check this stuff out because the man of sin in Rome was prophesied to use craftiness when manipulating the masses towards his way of governing. The prophet Daniel says in Daniel chapter 8 verse 25 that through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. It also says that he shall also stand up against the prince of princes. That's Christ Jesus. But he shall be broken without hand, praise God. So the craftiness of the Pope and his prelates is what moved the UK to drop out of the EU in the first place. In so doing, the talk of a new world order or global government, as prophecy calls it, will be better realized and easily ratified now. I mean, expanding the Roma tentacles into other nations so as to have the monetary and political base needed to go global is a no-brainer. And when this happens, and it will, the UK will have no choice but to be one with the New World Order Empire after it sees how financially stable it can be for them. And no, no, I'm not suggesting it will actually be stable for the people any more than the quantitative easing in the United States banks actually makes our economy truly stable. It's just all a bunch of smoke and mirrors. But those in positions of power will be unable to ignore the temptation to sign on once they see how big their piece of the pie is going to be when it all goes down. It will be very stable for them and crippling to the common man. And as I said many times before, that is the golden carrot the Pope always uses under satanic inspiration. This has always worked for him. And the fact that Obama is right now kicking it up a notch behind the scenes regarding the TPP, this suggests the fix is in, at least in this scenario alone. Uh, and as I said the other day on, on the blog, uh, the the Brexit thing is never going to stop prophecy. I mean, the prophecy of Revelation 17, verse 12, is going to be fulfilled. The ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. And so it's going to happen. And as I've been saying for decades, it will have to be set up as a socialist form of government, as the Vatican has been demanding for quite some time now. As a matter of fact, I've got a page on the website all about that. If you just go to the... Uh, Warning section, go to Antichrist, go to character, well, no, scroll down to uh, Vatican Socialist Agenda, and you'll see there's quite a lot of information here in regards to their plans for a socialist format. In fact, Cardinal Ratzinger, who later became Pope Benedict XVI, said when commenting on liberation theology that the absolute good, and this means building a just socialist society, becomes the moral norm that justifies everything else, including, if necessary, violence, homicide, and mendacity. Can you believe it? And so anyway, these men are ruthless and, and they will kill anyone that stands in their way. But I say, why bother? The prophecy will be fulfilled. We couldn't stand in their way if we wanted to. Still, some will try and they will be killed, but that's their own fault. Had they studied the prophecies, they would know this was going to happen and they couldn't stop it if they wanted to. In fact, the EU empire under the socialist format is the only way they will be able to get away with passing certain laws that will allow for violent means of forcing people into compliance via the buy and sell enforcement of the mark. And then, later, the actual death penalty for those that refuse the mark. This is why Ratzinger said what he said, but at present, the people suffering in the EU conglomeration would never go along with such things. But their leaders will. And since the people won't go along, the leaders must then become dictators, wherein it doesn't matter what the people want. The present structure won't work this way. It has to go socialist. And yes, it will be global no matter how many people will assume otherwise. Just as many people doubted the Seventh-day Adventist Church keeping Sunday holy would ever happen, or that the Jews would never agree to keeping Sunday holy was a pipe dream, the United States of America will also be part of this Vatican's New World Order. In fact, 
If it wasn't for our past few presidents pushing the New World Order for Rome, we would never be where we are today. Still, when it comes, it's going to have to come with bloodshed because many Americans are already upset and they are already primed, ready, and armed to the teeth for the next civil war. No matter how many lies are piped into the mainstream media, the truth is known by many Americans that refuse to follow the herd. And they don't like what's happening one bit. But I repeat, why bother? It's going to happen no matter how much you don't like it. We are in the last days, and unless someone has a working time machine that would allow us to go back a few centuries, not much can be done to escape any of this. The bottom line is this. Just as Rome was able to build Roman Catholic Emperor Adolf Hitler's Third Reich into a blood-curdling empire, as I said back in my February of 2008 Truth Provided newsletter, the Vatican's Fourth Reich will come to fruition. Not because students of prophecy proclaim it, and not even because Ratzinger lusts after it. It's going to happen because... It was prophesied. Thank you for watching. God bless.